not for today. <laughs> <coughs> my travels, this is the boy, right? Well, my travels. Let me just sit back for a minute. Yes. We're <laughs> laughing. Quite good fun. But no, um, it's funny, um, I was just thinking there, the first, because I've been working uh, full time about 20 odd years, 22 years in, in um, playing harp, and it wasn't, wasn't the plan ever, you know. But my grandmother said that she, I should, you know, enjoy it and do it. And if you're going to talk about something, she, her, her, she maintained, you know, anything you do, if you enjoy it, just do it. Don't talk about it. Just, you know, go. Mm-hmm. So she sent us out, and that was the, the great attitude, because none of us did music in, in, in college. We all did different things, and we ended up, my brothers all, converging on the stage together. But uh, one of my first ever production uh, in, in, uh, in Dublin, I was, when I was 17, I went to Japan and played. But when I was, when I... Um, came home and finally did my leaving cert, I met a director called Michael Scott, and uh, working with Michael was Bronwyn Kesson. The very first production I did was Bronwyn was designer, so it's funny how, how far back it all goes, but uh, I also met a very uh, influential lady in my life, uh, musically, uh, that very same production, a woman called Hazel O'Connor, who was a, many of you saw Breaking Glass, the, the film in the 80s, she was a, a crazy punk icon in the days, but uh, she's a fantastic uh, songwriter, a fantastic person, and she kind of got me um, travelling. We did a show at the Edinburgh Fringe in 1998 about her life, and that was the beginning of the tour. It hadn't stopped since then. And uh, the other significant lady, my mother keeps laughing at all these wi- musical wives that I have. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, another one I'm is, the uh, elder lemon. <laughs> <laughs> The other is, uh, is that, uh, a lady you might all know, Maya Brennan from Klamath, oh, and uh, I grew up listening to Klamath, and my brother Fanon got into Maya's band uh, about 12 years ago, and uh, about nine years ago she did an album that had lots of harp on it, and she said you know, she wanted someone to take on half the harp on, on the live, on the tour, because she, she didn't want to do it all live, she wanted to focus on singing for some of it. So I got the gig, so uh, eight years later we have a CD of our own out called Voices and Harp, it's amazing what what happens when you, uh, you know, the people you meet along the way, it's, it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. You know? 